Is it gonna be the beef or is it gonna be the venison? I am going to show you guys all of my secrets on how to make a super tasty beef jerk. I selected two of my favorite cuts of meat, which are absolutely perfect to make beef jerky with. And with this cold weather, it's just screaming beef jerky. Beef jerky, beef jerky. Gotta have beef jerky, man. You want beef jerky, Marcia? See, everybody wants beef jerky. I know you want it too. Of course, every good beef jerky starts with a good piece of meat. In this case, I've got some beef loin. This is the short loin. And the good thing about this is that it's super tender. Lean meat is the key. Because the last thing you want in your beef jerky is fat. Stay away from a lot of intramuscular fat or fat caps or anything like that. And the other piece I have here is the, you remember, the venison. Yes, the eye around of venison. And it's going to be perfect too. Listen to this. This is still lightly frozen. That's going to make it a lot easier for us to slice up. Try and slice it as thin as possible. If you can't get it any thinner, just use your hands flattening it a little bit. Once it's all sliced up, it's time to start working on our marinades. We are going to make two types of marinade. One is going to be for our beef and that's the one we're starting with. Taking half a cup of ketchup mayonnaise, 10 twigs of chives, two cloves of garlic pressed and three slices of ginger. Add your slices of beef to it and make sure that everything is 100% covered. Now we're moving to the second marinade which is specifically made for our venison. Starting with a quarter cup of red wine vinegar and half a cup of olive oil. One tablespoon of Worcester sauce, one tablespoon of peppercorns, one garlic clove pressed, half an onion sliced and one tablespoon of salt. Add the venison slices to it and mix it all up. Now we're going to put these marinades in bags. Look at that, <laughs> they're done. On the other side of two days. And we, we don't do that stuff where we get stuff in that we already pre-made and no fakery here. I just call Mars and say, hey, today's the day we're doing beef jerky. Like, yeah, let's go. Because I'm excited. This stuff has been sitting in the fridge for two days and that means it has a lot of marination time. Normally I would say two hours is enough when you got thin streaks of meat. But now with beef jerky, we want the power of flavor to go in there. And there's a reason that I want that. Because when we expel the moisture, the flavors kind of like, well, disappear is not the right word, but they become less strong. So we need a lot of flavor on our beautiful little beef jerky strips. We'll roll out some paper towels and place on our jerky. We need to get this as dry as possible. So scraping off all of the marinade is very important. Then patting it dry as much as you can, put a layer on top, do whatever you need to do, get it as dry as possible. We'll start by making the rub for our beef, which consists of one part paprika powder, one part onion powder, one eighth part cayenne powder, one eighth part salt, and one eighth part ground pepper. Mix it all up and sprinkle it on your beef jerky. Make sure to hit both sides. By sprinkling on this rub, we're making the beef jerky so much better. Now, of course, we need a rub for our venison as well. For that, we're going to take half a part of salt, half a part of sugar, one part ground pepper, one part paprika powder, one part onion, and a quarter part of garlic powder. Now get that beautiful barbecue rub on your jerky and put your jerky on a rack to dry. It's just like doing laundry. Making beef jerky in your barbecue requests a little skill, let's say, especially when you're working with charcoal grits. So I'm gonna show you right now how to do it and do it properly. First step is to open up all the vents. <sighs> Bottom as well as top. Then we're going to take everything out. Our grill's now empty. We'll put the ash basket back in and fire it up. Now we got our Kamado Joe all set up. 
We got in the distance a little bit of heat with a little bit of smoke wood to give that first setup with smoke and letting it dry rapidly, building up that pellet hole on the outside. But we're keeping the temperature super, super low. We don't want to go over 70 degrees Celsius. We need just a lot of dry air, a little bit of smoke. So we'll keep adding charcoal as we go. But this is going to take up to, I don't know, four, five, six hours. We'll see you on the other end. Let's close the lid and keep our eye on it. hours of drying at a temperature of around 70 degrees Celsius and there we have the result amazing beef jerky this stuff is so cool it's like nice and dry the beef is really tough just what you're looking for in jerky now let me give you a word of advice usually I make this a day ahead of time my friends are coming we're gonna have a beer watch a game stuff like this you're gonna put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the fridge for instance and when you do it's just gonna be a little bit more like it's a little less dry than when it came out of the barbecue that's why i always make it a little drier and then when i store it it comes out perfect so remember that tip from the pit master i'm trying to figure out what i taste i like it mm. Mm. i get why people like this but there's something new here, because venison beef jerky, I've never had venison beef jerky. So here we go. This stuff is absolutely fantastic, and putting in multiple layers is so amazing. And I also love the difference between the one that we made with vinegar and the one that we made with ketchup mayonnaise, the sweet soy sauce. Venison jerky, that's the thing. This is a whole new level. So I'm gonna have the dog decide on which is the favorite. Is it gonna be the beef or is it gonna be the venison? Which one do you prefer? If you can have both. Venison? The dog chose venison. <laughs> Seriously, I love it, but the dog loves it even more. Of course, my editor wants to put in like a hashtag feed the editor. I want you guys to put in the hashtag feed the dog. I think that's like more likely thing to happen. Like, of course, the editor's great. He's a great guy. Dog, a dog. Oh, thank you guys for watching. Big thanks to our patrons and YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, eat smakelijk and keep on grilling. That's right. What? Nog eentje? Die? Nog eentje die? Ja, ja, ja. Venison. Can you say venison?